Hello, it's Fox City Low, and I'm doing Margaret Miller's Collage Weekly Planner number 13 today. Today we are we need um, a poem. I have these. A bird. I have these chickens. Measurement. I have some of this uh, washi tape. Stitching. I'll draw on at the end. Repeated rubber stamping. I have these little bird stamps. And this, these ink colors that match my chickens. And the bonus is a portion of a used envelope. And I'm going to use this window envelope. Okay, I'm going to get started. Let's see. don't really have an idea. I'm, kind, I'm, I'm winging it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So I like these little bird images that are on these, on this poem, from this poem book. Let's see, do I want to just glue them down as is, kind of just collage over the top of them? That might work. Hmm. Let me grab my tear ruler. Okay. have my very first craft fair I guess today when you're seeing this because it'll be Saturday Saturday April 2nd when I get this posted I'm super nervous <laughs> but I feel decently prepared for it so that's all I could really hope for, it being my first one and all. I want to put a video up of all the things that I'm kind of just a run through of all the things that I've made for the sale. I just think it'll be interesting and it'll also be fun for me, um, you know, when I, when I look back at it to see what I took to my first craft fair. And I, I plan on doing these more often if it's a pleasant experience. And I've been doing all these collages, um, but you know, I really didn't put a whole lot of collage work into what I had. Well, I guess I, I guess I kind of did. I'm, I'm trying to sell myself short a little bit, and that's not, that's not good. You'll just have to subscribe and so you can check out, well, you don't have to subscribe, but that would help me out if you did. It's free and all, but, um, but, you know, I'll have a video up of the things I took and I guess I can do a little a little show of what my table looks like and everything if I can remember to film <laughs> it's all it all um we hinge on that if I if I remember and have a good opportunity which I'm doing this the Friday before April 1st. And I plan to have um, number 14 of this, of this set um, sometime next week. 
late or not Saturday, you know, earlier than Saturday. Since I'm feeling a little behind on that, I'm gonna get back to my Saturday for that coming out. Cause I missed that one. <clears throat> Just rip this down and see how I feel from there. Sometimes I kind of have a, a plan of where and how I'm going to place everything, but not this time. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and rip this down too. I guess that's an issue if you, if you like everything you're putting into the collage and you don't have anything to cover up. It's not much of a collage. But I'll have to cover some of these poems up. Unless I rip some of them out. Which I can still do that. Wrens and robins in the hedge. Wrens and robins here and there. Building, perching, pecking, fluttering everywhere. Hmm. Maybe a little. I haven't actually read these. So I don't know. Okay. I'm not gonna glue those down yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like you know take take parts or not. Cause I could just do a few of them and have this as the rest of the background. I guess I'm gonna rip a piece of this off just willy nilly like and see where I can go from there. little piece will be easier to work with. So if I do something like that, scooch that down, kind of break it up with this little guy. Okay, let's see. Then maybe something like that. If I go a little higher, Let's try, let's try a column of, or, or three rows of chickens instead of, or four rows, yeah, four. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I, now I have this little strip of chickens and a bigger strip of chickens. I'm thinking if I do that, and put some of this washi tape up there. A little something like that. Hmm. Okay, I like I kind of like the top. So I'm just gonna rip that off there. So I, so I remember. Okay. And then I'm thinking if I do kind of a a little rip. Like that. And of course, like that. seeing a little something neat. Okay. 
Oh yes, and I have I have this envelope. I'm just gonna trim the whole thing. See if I have a good. I could put maybe put him in here. It's kind of cute. This is a little dirty. Probably ink or something. That helper hinder. I don't know. Kind of like this side too. see the plastic. Hmm. I'll just cut the printed part off. that across that could be cool okay I kind of like this stuff too we'll see if we put some of that little privacy packaging on there okay we need something over here for sure and we could do something like that and then let's figure out where we're gonna put some of these chickens. Okay. Let's see. I like some of this pattern. Maybe we can stamp on that. Stamp this little bird over and over again for the repeated. Okay, I'm getting a little, should have cleared my desk off a little bit more than I did. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut this off. Right, scissors upside down. I can't guess it matters, but I was feeling a little odd. And then if I need need another poem at some other point, I'll have that. Place some of this. Cut right in there. sure if I'm in frame. Let me check that. I am I am scooting. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put this guy over here. I'm gonna have like multiple multiples of him for my repeated pattern. 
Okay, so I got lots of poems. I got birds galore. Got my measurements up here, and I'll add some more of this at the end, probably. Stitching. I'm gonna draw, I think I'll put the stitching around that. Repeated rubber stamping. Got my plan over here. I guess I can do that. Let's see how this looks. I got these from the thrift store, and I am not sure. It's like they're, whoever had them before, somehow glued them to the plastic. I'm not sure. does seem to be coming off, but I'm not sure it's, yeah, it's not, it's not sticking, so I guess I will just get my fingers messy. But it was a pretty, it's a pretty stamp. I don't know how it'll I don't know how it'll come out. Did it get any ink? I cannot tell. Oh, it definitely got ink right there. Let's see. Hope this is bright enough. Hmm. It's not very bright, but I guess it's kind of kind of adds some interesting texture at least. And you'll see it more once it goes over the edge of this paper. Definitely something. Oh, I really should have <laughs> really should have glued this down before I did that. Now he's likely to not quite match up. Let's see. That's okay. Oh, okay. So I can glue this piece on. Right. Hmm. Okay. So I've got this kind of glued. And I think of what I want to do. I want to glue this. I guess I might as well just glue that whole thing down instead of trying to save that little bit of text. There'll be more later. So I have to tell myself when I start getting too precious with my crafting supplies. It's like, I'll find more later if I found it the first time. There'll be more. Might not be exactly the same. 
but that's part of the fun is figuring out how to use different things, especially when you're, when you rely on thrifted, thrifted finds to make interesting, interesting art with. Okay, I'm just gonna glue all over this page now. This is the one that I should have finished in March, I believe. Unless it's the next one was the last one. I'll have to have to do a count. I have to look, look at a calendar. Okay. I just want to line this up sort of kinda. Definitely went quite crooked, but that's what the that's what the washi tape is for, right? Oh. Okay. Give it a little more glue since I was playing around with it. the trouble. Okay. Now we know how big those chickens are. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the start of this one. This one's kind of shiny. Okay, got that done. I might as well, I might as well go do this whole side down as well. little chickens down here overlapping that a little bit okay and so I need to put this this stamp right about where see like Emily Dickinson and Mary Austin I got the this one the same time as the the other one so I'm gonna assume that it also doesn't have the clinging capability okay gonna put it right about there Very nice. Kind of frame that. Yeah, I think I'll let a little bit of that text on the bottom show. I think that'll be nice. 
Okay. It's a little plain on this side, so let me see. I don't really... I guess I, guess I can run like a little bit across here. The top. Don't want, I don't want to go all the way across. Just have a bar of washi like that. Oh. Okay. This could be nice right here. Again, this is the the third and final stamp I got in that. I got like a little bag from a local thrift store for 50 cents. So you can't expect much from a set of three 50 cents of, you know, three stamps for 50 cents. You can't expect much. <laughs> But these are pretty nice, even if they are a little more difficult to use. I think I think they're worth it. A little bit of color over that side. And let's see, maybe Yeah, I think it needs a few chickens right there. Sure it does. Where don't you need chickens? there that a little bit well I don't want it showing yeah yep right there it is good I keep leaving this top off of that okay let's see what we're gonna do that I've been leaving the top off everything feel like I don't have very much like stuff. Most of my design is stamped on. I've used everything. So maybe that's okay. Do another. I kind of like, I mixed the two. Two inks. I kind of, I kind of like it, and it'll train. It'll, you know, wind up going just all of in a bit. Okay. Oh, I know. We can put some of this over here too. Maybe just a stripe. And we'll just do a, a little stripe of this. And get some get some ink involved. Yeah. Strip. It's almost that color too. 
I've been using it for my pen. It's kind of nice. Hmm. It's time to just stick this all down and see if I feel like it's finished or not. No need to just keep staring at it and not going forward with it. Glued. Some making some quick decisions now. Trying to try to balance this out a little bit. the leaf leaf part nice <laughs> Some green around too. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Just putting the one piece of the stamp. Just gonna leaf it up. What you think? Okay, now I'm gonna just do a little bit of zigzag, which I think I had my zigzag practice on the back of that, so I don't have that. 
I don't have it to look at anymore. <gasps> Silly me. Oh no, here it is. It was a it was a blue piece, not a green piece. Let's see. Maybe I'll just try, of course my pen, does that, does that want to work? Spiral, spiral got involved. They go crooked. That was fun using this piece of envelope. I've seen a lot of people do things with these envelopes and I've kept I, can't, I have so many of them, <laughs> but I've, I haven't actually um, used the little window yet till now. I'll definitely have to try it again. my first time trying to draw stitches as well. I could have just sewn something, but I was anxious to get this done. I'll use this as an opportunity to just try out some different things. Maybe a little bit of washi tape at the bottom. Uh, as soon as I can find the starting point. Kind of overlap that window a little bit more. And some of this one. Well, I'll say this is kind of plain, but I also kind of like it. I feel like it needs something, but I don't, I can't think of what it is. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. That's nice. Maybe, oh, maybe a little a little bit of ink. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Kind of make it a little 
Oh, messy. One little edge. Just get some of this. Yeah. Okay, I feel better about it. <laughs> Probably could use a few pops of this too somewhere. But I, I'm a little. This this one's a little wrong so I don't want to don't want to give it too much okay I'm gonna call that good otherwise I might start destroying my ink pads all right, well, this is hashtag 2022 CWP 13. The 13th week of collaging. Super excited to still be doing it this year. And I will have that number 14 out lickety split if all goes well. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, that would, that would be really awesome for me. Um, and that's the best way to make sure you know um, as soon as my videos pop up on YouTube. And thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.